hello everybody welcome back to the channel again it's your friend boys monarchies and uh, today we're going to react on uh sad guru destroys uh zaki nick uh god branding yeah again uh we have to react because someone asked please react 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 yeah so what we're we going to do let's go chalo okay because if you only believe in god there are various explanation of god yeah explanation given by jew is different explanation by christian is different explanation by hindu is different the explanation given by prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final revelation and he has been prophesied in all the scriptures he's been prophesied in the christian of the, the scripture of the jews he's been prophesied in the christian of the scriptures of the christian he's been prophesied in the scriptures of the hindus and all the scriptures say that the last oh. and final messenger to come even in hindu prophet muhammad peace be upon him so by believing in prophet muhammad peace be upon him you're believing in all the other religions also that the last and final messenger is prophet muhammad peace be upon him so can i conclude that okay if i become a muslim i can uh, no i am also a christian not you are a christian you believe in jesus christ peace be upon him because jesus christ never teach christianity sister jesus christ himself did not call himself a christian do you know that really yeah i know so why how you know <laughs> so if you become a muslim you believe in all the messengers this yes. girl say i know how you know and you believe in one true god and you submit your will to god if you become a muslim okay and have to respect all the messenger abraham moses jesus muhammad peace be upon them all okay so do you like to become a muslim not yet after <laughs> <laughs> i was sitting in a large congregation of people one morning a man arrived and stood there in the shadows this man is a great devotee he is a devotee of rama you heard of rama what is rama sadhguru rama is uh, one of the most popular deities in india okay if you do not already know this in india we have 36 million gods and goddesses to a rich country 36 million <laughs> he is a great devotee of rama <laughs> my goodness the devotees in india not now and not everybody but those who take this seriously that is 6 million not utter any other word than the name of god that they believe in so if they want you to come they'll say ram ram if they want you to go ram ram if they <laughs> want something ram ram no other word but ram wow the clothes are all printed ram ram they utter only ram ram they live ram ram they devoted their whole life to god you are smart you are not like that you can you keep god like insurance just in case something goes wrong i have also paid my premium <laughs> <laughs> everything that you need to do you do it yourself you keep god like insurance yeah in case you're smart but this man invested his whole life in god total age is passing away little doubt has come it's a little doubt he knows there is god just a little doubt now there is an enlightened being here he wants to confirm but after being a well known devotee for a long time because he did mm. not just go to the temple he built many temples wow at this stage in his life how to ask whether there is god or not now so he came early morning stood in the shadows there and asked this inevitable question is there god God the man looked at the man and gave a clear emphatic no <laughs> here this large congregation of disciples this has always been a struggle in their their mind is their god or no god is their god or no god oof one big relief whenever they ask such a question to god the man he just becomes silent he doesn't say anything for the first time he gave a clear answer no god wow joy spread across the 
congregation. <laughs> Just this struggle, is there God or no God is over. The enlightened one has declared there is no God. The message spread across the town. There's no God. Through the day, celebrations happened because just imagine the freedom of it. No God means nobody sitting up there keeping accounts of what you did and what you did not do to punish you, burn you in hell or do this or that. Yes. Life is completely yours. Freedom. <laughs> so through the day, celebrations happened. Everybody is in great joy. The evening, once again, the congregation is sitting. Another man came. He also standing in the shadows. This man is a Charvaka. Charvaka means in India there are groups of people who are known as Charvakas. These Charvakas are out and out materialists. They don't believe anything other than what they can see. So this is an expert Charvaka. Whatever kind of believer you are, mm -hmm. if you talk to him for ten minutes, he'll prove to you no God. Wow. But thousands of people, he's proved no God, no God, no God. Age is passing. Little doubt has come. Suppose there is God. <laughs> now there's an enlightened being here. He wants to confirm. So he appeared there in the evening. And he asked the same inevitable question, is there God? Gautama looked at the man and said, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, then he destroyed everything. Once again, turmoil <laughs> started. So morning he said, no God, they were all really happy. In the evening he says, there is God. So what's the game Gautama is trying to play? See, if you believe there is God, or if you believe there is no God, you are in the same boat. You believe something that you do not know. <laughs> Sometimes it's confusing. I believe yeah? this, you believe that. It doesn't make any difference. You can believe whatever you want. Yes? Everybody can believe whatever they want. It need not have anything to do with reality as such. If you see, I do not know, the longing to know will arise within you. Mm. If the longing arises, the seeking arises. If the seeking arises, the possibility of knowing exists. Charlie. This is really, really complicated to decide if there is God or not. Because sometimes you, sometimes you, you asking yourself, Hey, imagine if I don't pray, if I don't, uh, you know, follow this religion, and in case I died, what gonna happen there? So you know. I will, I will, I will try my best to, to, to follow something. At least, at least we follow something. Wow, <laughs> this is a really tough question. But at the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, I think it's better to follow what you born on it. Not, not, not to follow what what you 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 grew up seeing your parents do. But I think you have to use your mind also and determine. Hey, what's work better for me? Because Sometimes people eating potato and the potato is not good for them. So people eating other things and it's not good for them. So you have to figure out what's work for you the best. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you guys um I hope you guys enjoy watching this video here. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to this channel so that we can grow together. Peace out. Welcome to Ismonakes, the French boy.